All right, we are live on quarter, and that's all that matters. Uh, no. All right. Um. All right. Let's just go ahead and get things rolling. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Broly555 TV, and welcome back to my live stream series for my NCAA Football 07 Dynasty mode. So, last week I had the exciting 58-14 win over then number 5 Cal, who has since dropped to number 12. And because of my impressive road win, I jumped from number 15 to number 10 in this week's polls. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and bring back that audio. So, I did a number of things since last time. One, I've lowered the in-game sounds so that my voice should be heard over the game much easier. The other thing I did is I switched the game's visual setting from a 4-3 ratio to a 16x9 widescreen ratio. So if the game looks a little better visually, it's because of that. Uh... Other than that, I don't really have anything else to add to that, so let's go ahead and get right into the action. All right. Uh... So I am number 10 Oregon, undefeated, playing against UCLA, who has one of the worst offenses in the country, which bodes well for me. It means I'm going to have an easy win as long as I don't have a bunch of turnovers. And then my friend the Gravy Man still has to play Syracuse, which hopefully will happen later today. And I'll let you know next week how that goes. Anywho, let's get right into the action. Oh, I'm at, uh, oh yeah, that should be fine. Do 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 do. We're gonna simulate some games. Ooh, Florida lost. Cal beat Wazoo 49-7. I saw that score flashing by. All right, so we're at home. I think we're going to go ahead. Whoa, hey there, game. Ah! I'll go ahead and stick with this uniform today. Is UCLA hat? No, they don't have any alternatives. Okay. So let's go ahead and play 2-3 and three UCLA right now. Do, 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 yep. Number 10, Oregon, with the number one offense in the land and a pretty solid defense. I think I'm middle of the road in terms of yards per game given up. I'm one of the worst in pass defense, but my points per game is less than 18 points per game allowed so far. So I'm pretty good on defense. Hey, football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Uh-huh. It's the most miserable weather you could have for a football game. Oh, I'm Cold sure. And rainy for the UCLA Bruins and the Oregon Ducks. This intense season continues, and we've got what should be a great game coming your way. And here come the Ducks. The Bruins look like they're going to get killed out there. What do you think? The same thing, Kirk? UCLA has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Really? In my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and big win. Hey, hey, hey. Who do you think I'm picking? I'm picking the Oregon Ducks. All right, ah. you've heard the coach's pick. Now let's take it down to the field for the coin toss brought to you by Coke. All right, well, take me to that coin toss, Captain. All 
All right. Uh, I'm going to kick it because I like starting with the ball in the second half. Oregon has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. Boom! Kicks it off. Bell fields it at the two. Oh, boy. Why are we having emulators slow down today? Now we see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Marquis is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Marquis lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Tries to shoot. Haverly hmm. brings him down for a loss. And that was I'm gonna try one thing. Maybe it's this whole uh no, it's not the camera view. Uh, visual. Oh, won't let me... Really? Do I really need to quit this game, go back, and... Uh, reset that part? Do I really? Nah, uh, I'm gonna just try it. See if it gets better. From their own 16-yard line. Second and 13. Olsen comes to the line with three wide. Setting up play action. He there we go, Phillips. Complete. Tackled for a loss. A one-yard loss. They line up Jeez. The Come on, emulator. It's Work right. They line up with trips to the left. The worst it's been in the whole series. UCLA goes with the ace set here. He drops back. Looking. He steps up. He sits it. There we go. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. Yeah, I wonder. Let me go. Uh, let me go to my emulator settings. Um... My window settings. Oh, I have it all set to widescreen, just like my computer. I don't know what the deal is. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna try switching it to four or three. Oh wow, that changed things a lot. Perez is waiting for the snap. He gets it off. Well, that's better. Loose football. McMahon. Oh, come on! Pick it up, Williams! A big, big oh it my gosh. Like someone got the helmet on that ball. First, and ten. First down, ball ten to go. Four yard line. The Bruins come out of the ace formation. There we go. He let that one go before the defense got to him, and it fell in Well, sometimes if you can safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. They line up at the 44. Second and ten. The Bruin line up with a single setback to you. Marku gets a toss. Halfback pass. There we go. Pass. Interesting pass. play right there, Coach. This All right, well, has always had this may look ugly, but at least it's it my emulator's handling time, it better. But you can bet he still has a lot more of them to choose from. Ace backfield. Back to pass. He's going left. Wow. That one's in what was league. that, bro? That's not a bad decision right there. He just got to give his man a shot at catching it. Yep. He put a little bit too much on that. Number 41 is back to receive. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket.
There we go. At the 11. That was sure a great punt, Kirk. All it's right. really hard to drive down the field when the offense has to start this deep in their own territory. First and ten. UCLA. Looks like they're going to let me do it. Here's the option. Nope. Well, here goes Dennis Dixon. <laughs> At the 31. They go with the option and pick up the first down. And that was just good instinct. You have to know when to pitch it or when to keep it. Yeah, and in that situation... All right, let's give it to Beef Stew. kept it himself. Very good decision. All it's right, there we go. Oregon comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. On the ground, up the middle. There we go, down. Beef Stew. And he busts a big one on this defense. With his halfback is running the ball, I'd put a few more guys in the box there defensively to try to stop him. Yeah, well, look at how they rank you would, but yeah, it doesn't here. matter. Wow, these guys can't be stopped. I hope this defense is ready for them. Hey, this offense is one of the best we've seen. They know how to get the ball down the field. Just going to keep burning clock because we like to run the ball here at Oregon. It up the middle. He's taken oh, there down we go. at the 47. Stewart gets three yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. Right. They second line up at the 47. Ball second and seven. Seven yard line. The Ducks right. line up with three wide. I'm going to try switching back the aspect ratio and see if it still operates at this speed or not. All right, let's do this. Widescreen. Yeah, let's just leave it. All right, let's try this. He's looking to pass. Throws, and they've got the screen set up. Oh! At the 47-yard line. Five, Ooh. maybe six on that screen pass. Ooh. All right. I think we got our thing figured out now. All right. Let's see. Boom. They third line up one. with the 47. It's third and one. The Ducks set up in the gun. Can we run for it? That's the real question. I, I think we can. Dixon, option, left side. Oh, geez. Well, that he didn't work. Where to go on that option play. Boy, right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. Ha! I get a first down. I'm going to try one more thing here in my emulator. All right, let's go back to our video window settings and let's turn the let's turn that off. Apply. Go. Let's see if this makes a difference. You know what? We're going to get Finley a touch. First, First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. Oregon lines up with three receivers. All right. Dixon on first down. There we go, James Finley. Touchdown. Touchdown, Oregon. No surprise here, guys, with this receiver coming down with it. Yeah, that's his 10th touchdown reception this year. This guy is always in the end. There we go. That is a beautiful screenplay right there. Great blocking on the edge, and no one was there to get the receiver. They're setting up for the PAT. All right. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Boom. 
and he converts the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. But Quack attack strikes again, which is what they used to call the Oregon offense back in the day. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Bell fields it in the end zone. There we go. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense. Come on, defense. Get crazy. They line up at the 18. It's first down. First single set back for you. Drops back on first down. Someone there we go. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. That'll bring up second down. Second, second down. Ball on the 18-yard line. The Bruins go with the eye formation. There we go. Good tackle by Nick Reed. It's three yards on the carry. It's third down and seven yards to go. Come on, defense. The defense looking to make this crowd a factor. The defense now really trying to get the crowd into it. Back to pass. He steps up. Boom! Number 90 says no. away with a sack. What a sack. It's not good when your quarterback is taking shots like that. Yeah, he's looking. How does that dirt taste? The quarterback has got to learn how to protect himself Get it. a little bit better. Otherwise, he might not make it through the game, let alone the season. Four, All right, here we go. A lot of them punt it away. Number 41, back deep to return. He gets it off. Number 41 takes it to the 45. What? Come on. And so they'll turn the ball over. That looked like I was down. I'm going to challenge that play. That's the second time, though, I've fumbled a punt return. What the heck is going on? Yeah, there we go. I got lucky there. First down. So we're halfway through the second or first quarter. I'm up seven to zero. Not bad. The Ducks line up with a single set back to it. Kicks it, hands it off straight ahead. There we go. At the 43 yard line, Stewart gets six yards on the play. Let's see if we got another good run in Speed Stew today. Do, 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 do. We're going to burn Oregon that. Comes clock. to the line, only one man in the backfield. Burn that clock. Ba, 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 ba. There we go, Beef Stew. Get Andy some yards. 24 yard line. And he busts a huge gainer there. Boy, that one looked familiar. It looked like the exact same play they ran previously. Kirk, you're absolutely right. And don't be surprised if they run it again. You know, let's run Memphis. It's first and ten. Sorry, James Finley. We're trying something first else. Ball on the 24 yard line. Dixon is back in the gun. Dominating the clock. Dominating the clock. First down. Look at the throw. He looks. Wow, this works He's for me off. too. He's there we go. The eight yard line. They'll get the first down. The reason why he's got so much room to run is because the defense didn't contain him. Yep, coach, he made the correct decision to tuck it and go. All right. Oregon rarely comes away empty-handed once they get into the red zone. Brad, they have one of the Ooh, best we might get this one. In the country. I'd be surprised we might get Beef Stew in the end zone the here. here as well. <clears throat> All right. 
Come on, let's get busy. Dixon, options left. And now he pitches it. Jonathan Stewart, touchdown. Really something, Coach. Well, this kid is a tremendous halfback. Just hand off the ball and watch him work his back. That's a beautiful option right there. Boom. And they line up for the point after. All righty. Making magic happen today. Boom. And 14 to 0. With less than four minutes to go in the first, the score. Oregon, 14. Yeah, everyone get cray cray. I really do like those fan cut away. scenes between Marcus scores and big plays. Deep to return. It'd be cool if Axis Football had one of those cut scenes in them. Bell from his own end zone. Boom! The kicker with the tackle. The offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. First down, ten to go. There we go. Ace backfield. Marquis on the pitch to the right. Boom. Get some, but says really Tuatelli. I'll tell you what, Brad, it's almost no like he ran into a brick wall on that play. They line up at the 20. We Second down, 10 yards to Let's go. give it the old switcheroony. Olsen drops back. Here's a quick throw. Oh, yeah. There we go, Chung. Tackles him for a loss on the play. Drop back a yard. They line up the third third. Marky, the lone back. Drops back to pass. Steps up, throwing right. Oh, dang it. That's the first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. And this quarterback is very good at recognizing zone coverage. And then Come on. The first, first and ten. Oh, oh, Come on, defense. Got to get off the field. The defense is doing their best to fire up this crowd. He's looking for his man. That's there the we go. Number 81 was the intended receiver on that man. That'll bring up second down. So it's second and ten. All right, guys. Come on. Get crazy, Cray. They line up in an eye. Marky lines up in a deep back. Eye formation. He's looking to pass. Look out. There we go. Murder that quarterback, number five. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. If he didn't hold on to the ball, so he, hurt, he wouldn't have gotten drilled like that. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Olsen, back to throw. Here comes the pressure. Elon Boom! Fourth down. Give me that ball back. That'll be a loss of one. And line up to put this one away. Number 41 is back awaiting the punt. Perez punts it away, and this one's got some distance. Yeah, I'm Number fair catching that one. Fair catch. He's fumbled his last two. I don't think I need that anymore. Well, and they put it in the end zone. We'll have to see if that's their focus one more time. All right, let's see what we can do here with Beef Stew. Beef stew is good for Boy, you. Beef stew. Little handoff. There comes beef stew. Beef stew. That was a pretty good run. Man, beef stew is off to a great start today. This might be beef stew's game to shine. Finally. First All right, down, we're going to burn go. clock, and we're going to keep that beef stew train running. <laughs> At least for one more play. Oregon comes to the line. Looks like they might be the adjusting to it. Doo-doo-doo-doo. Boo-doo-boo-boo. Boo-doo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo. 
Ah, oh, they got me. They finally got me. Three yards on the run. See if we can get Cameron Colvin going now. Second down. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. Oh, Cameron Colvin down. says, yeah. He, Cameron Colvin says, yeah. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue uh, to get the ball. You don't say. It's first down. How are they going to line up on this one? Oh, yeah. I think we need to... Uh, Oh no, maybe not. They come out with three wide receivers. I think B. Stu might be getting another carry here. Yeah, I mean, if he had stayed lined up over there, I was going to switch to my other play, but uh, yeah, this works fine. Dixon on the option. There we go, B. Stu. Get some He's yards. In the open field. Stewart gets six yards on the play, so that'll make it second down. All right, we're just burning From that clock. Three yard line. Burning Second that clock. Four. Burning that clock. Burning that clock. Line up with a single setback field. Burning that clock. Burning that clock. And we're definitely gonna need a Broly 555 TV latest hits about all the things Justin sings about when he's playing football games. Oh boy! Well, they read that one. At the 42. Pick up of a yard for the two. Ooh, Finley wants a turn. Well, okay. I'll give you the ball, buddy, but they line up at the 42. If you don't give me a first down, you're fired. The defense lines up in a dime. All right, here we go. <sighs> All right. Dixon. Step back to pass. Uh, my own teammate got in the way. That's BS. I'm going for it. With Memphis. So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. I'm either going to scramble out with Dixon or hit Colvin. One of the two. I'm going to scramble with... What? I thought I got it. They took a gamble, but they lost. Well, hey! Because if the opposing offense scores, then everybody is going to be pointing the fingers at that old coach. Wow. I got a horrible spot. The Bruins come out in the ace formation. Olsen looking to throw on first down. Oh, what? It did. He still got it. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the I'm on receiver. defense. Here Get the loud. Brought you today and mad. Here comes Hudson, though. Olsen flips it right. Boom. Really? 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 Wow. That's BS. Uh, of course, as soon as I turn it over, their offense becomes unstoppable. Of course. They'll line up for the extra point. He makes the PAT. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Okay. I know what I need to do on offense now. I think UCLA JJ is about to become involved in the passing Stewart game. And Johnson back to return. He kicks off. Oh gosh. Bird takes what is my eight. team doing? Before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. 
They'll get the ball here at the 14. The Oregon Ducks will start the drive at the 14-yard line. Oregon lines up with three receivers. All right, J.J., get out there. See if they cover you or if I can scramble out with Dixon. Dixon steps back to pass. Looks. Fire Boom! The there we go. Bye. See ya. That's what you get for scoring on me. There we go. There we go. Yeah, look at that beautiful throw in the air. Look at that guy have no chance of keeping up with JJ. <laughs> That's what you get. Here's That's what you get. Give me point. my momentum back. Boom. And he adds the extra point. There we go. The second quarter clock reads over nine minutes left here in the half. And our score is Oregon 21, UCLA 7. Oregon to kick. Marky and sure. back ready to return. Boom. He sends this one deep. Marky fields it in the end zone. The offense comes out on the field once again. It'll be interesting to see if this defense has made any adjustments to stop this well, we'll start Come on, guys. The Bruins go with the eye formation. Marky is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Olsen, back to pass. He writes it. Yeah, there we go. Yo, that was a tough pass for him to hold on to. Yeah, but it wasn't the pass that was the problem. The hit is what jarred the ball. Hey, okay, the quarterback is the one who left his wide receiver out to drive. You have to throw those passes in a place where the guy can protect himself. Trying to make it hard to hear, and the defense urging the crowd to get to their feet. Olsen gives it left. There we go. At the 26. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. Come on, D. Get a stop. This is when their star receiver can make plays. Looks to pass. He delivers. Complete. There we go. Fourth down. The 26 yard line. No line is on the play. Four to six. The Bruin line up the front yard line. Number 41 is the deep man awaiting the return. He punts it. Signals for a fair catch. There we go. Now we see the offense come onto the field. And you know who's trembling right now? That defensive secondary. Secondary should be trembling after all the yards that they gave up that last time. Stewart is the single setback. They give to the tailback. There we go, Stewart. Good yardage. Field tackle. Stewart. He's having a big day so far. Oop, Colvin's ready to go. All right, Colvin, your turn. Second, Second and three, three coming up. Ball on the 36-yard line. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. It's going to keep burning that clock. Dixon drops back. Dixon zips it. There it. we go. Bye. Oh, they, they got me. At the 41 yard line. They call a receiver's number on the screen pass, and it results in a new set of downs. Yo, that play caught the defense totally off guard. By the time they realized All right, let's see who's on, lined up to defend me. Because the big fellas in the old line Ooh, were yeah. smashing into people downfield. Yeah, and the D better get ready out there because the last thing you yep, want to see I as a come. coach is your secondary taking on blocks by 300 pounders. Oh boy, here it comes again. Dixon drops the throw. He looks. He sails it. Oh no. Oh, he still got it. I thought I threw a pick. Oh well. This guy's having a great game catching the football. The right Kirk, he's got over 100 yards receiving today. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> JJ the clutch catch. Hey, 
have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters most. Ba 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 ba. Jonathan Stewart. Oh, he almost got in. Stewart. We're doing that again. It's second and goal. Ball on the one yard line. Come on, guys. Punch this in with Stewart. He needs two touchdowns on the day. Oregon goes with the ace set here. Burning clock. Burning clock. There we go. Touchdown, Stewart. And he manages to find the end zone for the second time this half. Yep, he's really finding his way into the end zone. He's off to a great start. They'll line up for the extra point. There we go. Boom. And he converts 28-7. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. They line up to kick this one away. Boom. It's off. Marquis from his own end zone. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that. Come on, guys. Get crazy loud. They line up in an eye. UCLA comes out with an eye formation. Olsen with a nice play fake. He throws right. Oh! That's just great in play. What a hit. much in the stat book, but that's getting the job done. They line up at the 20. Oh, it's second and 10. The Come on, defense. Find a way. Formation. Draw play. Can't wrap him up. He jukes him. He can Jeez. They'll bring him down. At the Come on, guys. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. UCLA comes out with two tight ends. There's a play fake. Let's it go. He snags it. The big guy with the really? run. Uh, you know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them long enough for the quarterback to throw to a first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball in their own 47. UCLA Come on, D. comes out with an eye formation. He's going right. But what a really? What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. Perfect time for the play-action pass. Well, here the defense is looking for the run, and the play-action put him in even a worse position. They just weren't ready for the pass there. The pressure turns up when in the red All zone. All right, come on, people. You turn to Old Spice red zone when performance matters most. Drops back to pass. Surveys the field. He throws. Complete. That's a three-yard pickup. Three-yard gain on the play. Second, second down and seven. seven to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. UCLA comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. UCLA goes with the ace set here. He's looking to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He lets it go. Really? That one. Wow. Good pitch and catch there. Just getting rolled down. over by their yeah. offense. Their horrible the offense. Down. That's just a nice play. These guys can't seem to get it together and punch it in once they get to the red zone, Coach. Well, maybe this week they'll be able to find the end zone a little bit more often. Marky, will run it again. There we go. At the three, and he gets a yard on the run. One yard gain on the play. They line up with the three. Come on, people. Second and goal. Get crazy in the end zone. The set. Let's keep him out. Setting up play action. Let's it ah. <laughs> it's complete. And they lose a couple there. 
loss of two on the play. Yeah, keep looking at yourselves, everybody. Third, it's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. Come on, defense. Get a stop. Ocean, drop back to pass. Short goal. Ah, dang it. A nice play as the offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing uh, They feel confident they can make that play work down inside the tent. So lordy, the lordy, lordy. The PAT. And he adds the extra point. Really? Penalty marker down. We might have roughing the kicker. Running into the kicker on the defense. I've had plays where I flat, flat out blow the guy away on a tackle and they don't throw a flag. Yeah, you tell him, coach. You tell him. UCLA. UCLA. Get this one off. Excellent kick. Johnson fields it in the There end we go. Guys, their last possession, they really had good success passing the ball. Hey, if you ask me, I'd air it out some more. Lee, I agree. Make them show you the take. Right. They'll take over. We're going to have 20 yards on. First, All first right, down, here we go. 10 yards to go. Ball All on the right. yard line. The defense lines up with Let's five switch to a screenplay now. Dixon drops the throw. Oh my gosh. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was Kirk, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. That'll make oh, it second down. The Ducks set up in the gun. Red 24. Oh geez. Gonna get open, Jay Will. Looks to pass. Looking. He takes off. There's a player shaking up on the play. Oh, uh, yeah. Looks like he hurt his arm on that play. Come on, guys. Only one yard on the scramble. All right. We're going to go Memphis here and get Colvin the ball. Third From their down. own 21-yard line. Oh, 21 Third yard down. Line. Dixon lines up in the shotgun. Rolls right. Looking. He fires right side. Got Boom. First down. Wow. How about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the Yeah, we saw it. We don't even see it again. Very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. First We've got ten. a first and ten. Ball on the ball ball on 40 yard line. line. Oh, well, hey, if you want to leave JJ open, Oregon. you be Comes my guest. All right, here we go. Dixon drops back, looks. Throw in yeah. the left side. Bye. Oh, come on. Was the intended target on the play. That'll bring up second down. All right, Finley, I'm going to give you a chance. You better get the ball. Second From their own 43-yard line. It's second down. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. Dixon drops to throw. Oh, my gosh. Three-yard loss there. Oh, my gosh. Dude, you didn't do anything to get open. Neither of my teammates blocked like they were supposed to. Third, the third offense team. faces another third down oh, as they line it up. Yard line. The Ducks line up with three wide. Uh, <clears throat> All right. As soon as I get another first down, we are Dixon running the ball to Jeff Stewart. Throws this one out to the right. There we go. He first down. And that pass and catch gives them a first down. Yep, they got the first down, but it wasn't by much, you guys. All right, where's Beef Stew? Come here, Beef Stew. First and ten. Ball on the 45. The Ducks come out in the ace formation. 
Excuse me. Excuse me again. All right, all that energy drink I had this morning coming back. Please block for me, guys. He still wants 100 yards. There we go. Good yardage. The 37 yard line. Stewart gains eight yards on that play. There we go. He's having a big day so far, Beef Stew is. Second, Second down. Ball on the 37 yard line. Uh, come on, guys. The Please Ducks block for Beef Stew. All field. Beef Stew ever wanted to do for you was score touchdowns. You've got to block for Beef Stew. We can't even call him by his real name because his new name is Beef Stew. Stewart gets the call again. There we go. He's First down. down. At the 34. First down pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. First down, right. 10 yards to go. Burning clock. This is the ninth play of this drive. The Ducks come out in the ace formation. Burning clock, burning clock. There we go. There we go. At the 26. Good yards. And he's already over the 100 yard mark with that run. And he's made it look so easy. He's going through. He's still time. And on top Something of this defense with no problem. He really has. At this rate, he could Beef easily be looking time. at 200, maybe even 300 yards rushing today. Beef Stewart, stew time. Alone in the backfield. Beef stew. Come on, guys. Get Beef Stew a first down. Block for him. He's got a block for Beef Stew, and he'll get you that first down. There we go. See? Down at the 21. He picked up a first down on that run, Coach. Yep, and you know, if you could pick up a few more first downs on the ground like that... You know what? I'm going to give JJ a carry now. Pass. Crazy first talk, I know. To go. Ball on the 21. Uh, but we need to burn some clock because UCLA's offense is starting the to get Ducks into a rhythm. Line up with a single set backfield. Uh. Oh wow! Where's the blocking, fellas? The 18. Three yard gain by the running back. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance uh, matters ooh, most. This might work. So their if they block for Colvin. Resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. Drops back to pass. Watch the throw. Oh, Jeez. Three-yard loss there. Three-yard loss on the play. Third it's and third ten. and ten. Ball and this is the 13th play of this drive. Dixon comes to the line with three wide. Blue 19. Dixon steps back to pass. Looking. Let's it fly. Oh, geez. Nice job there to bring up a fourth down. Pretty good throw here by the quarterback, but he couldn't quite ten. get it in there. Ball nice job in the deep yard. This is not the world's easiest field goal. It's up. But we got it. And it sails through the upright. And now we're going to take a look at the money. And I get the ball to start the second half. So a five-minute field goal drive to end the half is good. It's good. Oregon to kick. Boom. Marquis fields it at the three. He just... They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. Defense has been talking it over on the sideline. Let's see if they can stop them this time. UCLA sets up in the eye. Oh. 
Gets a carry. There we go. And he gets a yard on the run. Stewart has won 10 and two scores on 16 carries already. This game ain't over yet, so he's going to get more. They'll line up at the 25. Second down. Marquis is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Halftime. We still have a half left to play, but right now 31 14 is not bad of a lead. Our score Oregon 31, UCLA 14. Yes, it is 31 14. Defense is starting to give up stuff. My offense is humming along, especially the running game. Let's see, Dixon is 10 of 14, 234, two scores, no picks. Missed five carries for 40 yards. Stewart is 110 and two scores on 16 carries. JJ is two for 124 and a score. Colvin is six for 81. Finley two for 29 and a score. All right, we're just going to go ahead and get crazy here. The UCLA is set to kick this ball off to start the second half. Kicks it away. Johnson from his own end zone. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. All right. They'll start this drive at the 21-yard line. The 21-yard line. First and 10. Oh, wow. They're going to give me the option. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Dixon on the option. Hyder's back. Fair, Stewart. Did he get the first down? Yep, the defense was oh, blitzing on that nine play, yards. But it was picked up very nicely by that big old line. And that certainly helped spring him free, Coach. They have to be careful not to over-pursue next time. Come on, guys. Block for Jonathan Second Stewart. One. Ball on the 30-yard line. The Ducks come out in the ace formation. Block for B. Stew. Beef stew for president. Block for him. Hands it to the back. There we go. Good the yards. At the 36 yard line. That run gives him the first down. You know, in the media conference a couple of days ago, the coach talked about how important it was for them to establish the running game. Let's see if this helps them open up the passing game any. First down. Oh, this might work too. Dixon Who knows? Lines up with four wideouts. Maybe we'll see. Bum 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 bum. Direct snap to the back. A little juke. There's a fumble. Oh what? Oh, God, no. Well, they avoided a turnover right there. Man, oh, man, that was a close one. Good thing that kid was paying attention and fell on the Jeez. football. From their own 32-yard line. It's second down now, 14 to go. The Ducks come out in the shot. Come on, guys. Let's get on to our new play. Come on. If JJ can't get open, we'll scramble. He's looking to pass. Wow. Look. He wants it all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, JJ. Touchdown. There we go. This receiver has gained tons of yards all season long. And he's now getting close yeah, to the tell him, JJ. record for receiving yards. This guy's a tremendous athlete. Boom. JJ was too fast for you, bro. So the kicking team will line up for the point after. Exactly the way I wanted to start the half, too. Now it's up to the defense to play well. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Oregon is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks Boom. it off. 
Bell fields it at the two. Bounces off the would be tackle. There we go. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Come on, D. Here's the offense. Get cray cray. Come on. Get cray cray. The Bruin line up with a single set back to you. Marquee on the run. There you go. 24 yard carry. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Come on, get loud. UCLA goes with the ace set here with the stiff arm. There we go. At the 26. Marquee picks up two yards with a carry. It's third down. Come on, defense. The Bruins are lining up with three receivers. Olsen drops back. He's rolling left. He throws it. And it's caught. Oh, I almost stopped him. Come on, defense. By about a yard, but I'm sure they'll be happy with the new set of down. UCLA sets up in the eye. Makes the move. Jeez. They'll bring him down at the 35 yard line. Three yard gain by the running back. From their own 35 yard line. It's second and seven. The Bruin come out in the ace formation. Looks to pass. He's looking down the middle. Ah, oh, come on, bro. Was thrown during the tackle, and I think everybody in the stadium saw that face mask. Personal foul, face mask on the defense. Fifteen yards. The officials got that right. Fifteen yards for a face mask. Oh, not Patrick Chung. Intentional when you get a handful of face masks. You gotta drop your hand real quickly, or they'll give you a personal foul every time. Marquis is the single setback. Ah, there we go. And he's taken down at the 41 yard line. The ball carrier. They pick up two yards. Two on the play. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 41 yard line. UCLA comes out with an eye formation. The Bruin go with the eye formation. Marquis on the handoff makes a move. Tackle made at the 34 yard line. Marquis gets the man. Oh man. I'm just not doing good on defense right now. I just keep guessing wrong. Third is so another third down upcoming for the offense. Marquee is a deep back as they line up in the eye. They'll try to get the first. Uh, so with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. First doing a good job of neutralizing the uh, defense is definitely not having a good day. The Bruin come out in a two tight end set. Olsen with a pitch. There we go. They'll bring him down at the 30. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. No game on the play. Tenth play of the drive. Come on, D. The defense is in the nickel. Another run. Juke move. Yeah, there we go. Good job, Haberly. Picks up a yard. One yard gain on the play. Third they line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Marku lines up in the deep back. I Come eight. on, D. Olsen, back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws this one out to the right. Jeez. He's all the way down to the three. Defense just cannot make a stop. They were awful lucky. I'll tell you what, coach. After three consecutive I'm starting to burn my Tampa I'd say defense. They were awful clutch. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. I formation, looking to punch it in. Oh yeah! <laughs> there you go, buddy. Put the clamps on that Great effort up front by that defense. Second down. 
Looks like he'll try to power right into the heart of the defense. Marquee gets the call. Oh, fumble! Yeah! Defense! The stand at the goal line. That's how you do it, boys. better myself, you guys. Down, 10 to go. Come on, guys. Block for beef stew. Oregon comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Dixon drops back to pass. Catches it. There we go. First down. He's taken down at the 15-yard line. Nice pass play to get the offense out of deep in their own territory. It's not a good feeling when the shadow of your own goalpost is crawling up your back. It doesn't bother these I'm guys. on defense. First down from their own 15-yard line. Oh. It's first down. UCLA brings in the nickel here. Hmm. I see. Okay. Dixon looking to throw on first down. Yeah, that's covered, but like Dixon's run. not. There we go. The Good job, Dixon. For the quarterback. I'll tell you what, guys, this guy's pretty athletic. Just like you, he played at the old Buckeyes team. I don't think this was a design play, but it worked like it was. And you're right. If I'm the coach, I'd let this kid run it more. Oregon goes with the ace set here. Jeez. At the 34. A yard, right. maybe two on the carry. Hmm. They line up at the 34. It's second and eight. Yeah, this Oregon probably ain't going to work. Comes out the shotgun. Cat 82. All right, get over there, boys. He drops back. Green pass. Complete. There we go. At the 39. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. They line up at the 39. Ball on the third right. nine yard line. you guys. Right. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. All right, going to do it again. Hopefully Dixon can scramble for this one. Back to pass. He looks. He rolls out to the left. Rose. Someone oh jeez! And that was a good defense. Wow! Play. Yeah, guys, this is hey, read that. a great position to make the play. Fourth and three. Oregon lining up the punt. Marcus, the return man. Boom! Gets it away. Back deep to return. Marcus takes it at the twenty. He's hit and got away. He jukes him. Jeez. A good return there, guys. I'll tell you, the blocking was tremendous on that play. You're absolutely right. He made some Come on, D. We've got a first and ten. Ace backfield. Olsen tosses it right. And he's going to throw oh. to the quarterback. I know they didn't complete the pass, but I like a coach that isn't afraid to throw some trickery into his game plan. Hey, we were watching him practice this play the other day. It worked against their scout team defense. You know as well as I do, their scout team defense is a lot different than this team's defense. Ooh. Brings him down. And 39. Marky gains about a yard on the play. That'll make it third down. Third down. It's third down and nine to go. Marky. Come on, defense. Get him off the field. Drop back and pass. Yeah, there we go. That's how you do. Nice job, guys. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Number 41 is back to receive. 
He gets it off. There we go. So the offense takes over, and they'll try to figure out this defense. They forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. They'll go to work at the 18-yard line. Ace backfield. On the ground with the tailback. There we go, Beef Stew. Big game. That's how you do it, bro. for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Robuski. It's beef stew time. First down. First and ten. Uh. <sighs> okay, yeah. we are Here's doing good setback. today with beef stew in the run game. Dixon will hand it off. There we go. Good run. At the 49. A gain of eight on the carry. Second and two yards to go. On the 49 yard, 49 yard line. One man backfield. Stewart gets the ball. Oh, geez. Well, that didn't work. Look at that. Mitch just threw off their blocking assignments. And that's why this running back is looking for his mouthpiece right now. Third, third down. Ball All right. The 47 yard line. And you got to believe they're going to go to their impact receiver. Yeah. Do, do, do. Wide open. A big gain on that quarterback scramble. Boy, defensive breakdown here. Good defense. They had everybody covered, but they left the quarterback with a lot of running room. The key word is but. Good, Good defense, defense, but. You got to keep your eye on that kid. The Ducks with four receivers. Ah. Uh. Drops back on first down. Surveys the field. No one open, so he's going to run. First down, I hope. Oh, nine yards. That's still good. Second they line up at the 29. Come on, guys. Second Block down. for beef stew. The Ducks. With a single setback. And they didn't block for beef no stew. On that play, coach. Boy, you're absolutely right, Brett. What does beef stew have now? With those back to back negative carries. 24 for 154. Oh, yeah, so. All right. Third, this defense four. faces another All third down. 32 yard line. Uh. They come out in a nickel. Are you either scrambling or hitting Colvin? Depending on what I see. Dixon drops to throw. Look. Yep. He keeps it. He jukes. There and we go. Tackles him at the 19. And he has a huge game. And I like the decision making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get there. Battled. We go. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. They're just pounding out those rushing yards today. First and it's ten. first and ten. Ball They're inside the, the 20 yard, yard line. line. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Gets there we go, B Stew. There we go. Harder and harder as the game goes along. And if you notice, guys, the defense seems to be getting a little bit tired out there. We'll 
See what they can do in the red zone. Yeah, this ain't gonna and work. The shotgun. Gets it up the middle. Yeah, the eight yard line. Stewart gains about a yard on the play. Where are you? Cameron Colvin. Second From the eight yard line. It's second down. The Ducks come out in the shotgun. Dixon drops to throw, swings it out to his man on the screen. Touchdown! There we go. This guy has just had a great year catching the football. I know, Kirk. Every week this kid does nothing but catch touchdown passes. I can see now why this quarterback calls him his favorite target. Whenever this guy's near the end zone, he gets in the ball. They're setting up for the PAT. All right, let's put this PAT through the roof. Boom! And he hits the PAT. There we That's go. Leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Oregon to kick. Decent kick. Marky from his own end zone. There we go. They've been getting walloped all day, kick but at least they're still yards. working hard. I like a team that never quits. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers brought to you by Coke. The Bruins line up with a single set back for you. Olsen, little toss to the right. Halfback pass. Oh! And it's incomplete. Oh, you. you got uh, Hold this out there for me, please. I will later, yeah. <sighs> I don't know, like 15 minutes? Depends when I get done with this. As much as I love pizza, guys, game needs to finish first. The Bruins line up in an I formation. Uh, let's see. And now he's gonna run. A little juke. Now he pitches it. There we go. Would be tackled. Three yards there on the play. Third down. Third and third. And third. All right, here we go. Ball on the twenty-four yard line. Movement along the line. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Looks. Tosses short. Got it. Into the Boom. Seat. Fourth down. Tom brings him down at the 24 yard line. They didn't have the ball on there. Having ball control is important in football. And three it out is what you want to avoid for sure. Yeah. They line up to punt this one away. All right. Eight and a half minutes to go in this game. Perez. It's got a burn clock. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Yeah, more yards to go. I'm down with that. They'll down the punt at the 10-yard line. Hardly tough sledding for this offense that last drive as they took it in for six. Well, look no further than the guys up front. The he made some huge holes at run the 10-yard line. They'll go to work the at the 10. Hmm. They'll work from the shotgun. They'll run the option. He laterals the ball. The ball came free. Really? And the offense picks it. Really? They run the option and it almost cost them. You can't fumble the football like that. The coach is calling the option because he trusts his players to take care of the football. They are oh, very, very fortunate to get that one back. They sure are. And that ball. one had turnover written ball all over. The yard line. They don't want to make any mistakes in this situation. Block for beef stew, please. That was almost a disaster. Ah, 
Jeez. Down at the three yard line. Picked up a yard of anything Jeez. on that run. Now I just gotta get it out so I can punt. This is a dangerous situation backed up against their goal line. This is a situation where you don't want to make a mistake. Jeez, my team sucks. Top catch for the wide receiver. Can't do nothing right today. Well, oh, that's an exaggeration, but I should be destroying these guys much worse than I am. He punts it. Marquee fields at the 46. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. The offense looked a bit out of sync on that last no, play. And it was the defense that threw them out of sync, Kirk. Those guys are fired up. Let's see if they can hold them again. UCLA sets up in the eye. Olsen looking to throw on first down. There we go. Everett was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Second it's second Come on, D. Get him off the field. Marquee. Lines up in the deep back. I formation. UCLA comes out with an I formation. Olsen with the give. There we go. Reed with a takedown at the 37. The back gets three on the carry. I'm just going to bring the heat. Ball on the 37 yard line. Come on, bring the heat. Comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Yeah, there we go. Brought the heat. They almost got to him that time. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmaker. Fourth, so it's fourth down. The offense is still on the field. UCLA comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Olsen steps back to pass. Throws it. Oh, come on! You were there! How do you not deflect that? The throw to the wide receiver goes He was there! That kid looks like a natural receiver. Wow. That's not my fault, my guy can't make that play. Even though he's right there. That's some BS if I've ever right, seen they line one. Up for the extra point. Yeah. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And there was contact after the kick. What are they going to call here? Personal foul. Roughing the kicker on the defense. Looked like he couldn't stop himself from running into the kicker. Man, that's a big no-no. No matter how much momentum you've got, you can always move out of the way so not to hit the kicker. He sends it downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not well, taking it all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. First and ten. The Ducks come out in the shotgun. Dixon back to pass. Looking. Going deep. Oh, yeah. Booyah. First down. It's been a huge day for this receiver. Yeah, he's one of the most exciting receivers in all the college football. He makes big plays all the time. Today, he's been even more incredible. Today is definitely a special day. What a catch. I'm tell you why. This kid is getting closer. What a catch, closer JJ. To breaking the single game school record for receiving yards. What a game. First from the 32 yard line. Uh, uh, first down. Yard line. <coughs> Excuse me. One man backfield. Taking me forever to play through this game. Give 
it to the tailback. And he's there we go. The 27. Stewart picks up five, five yards. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 27 yard line. Ace backfield. Come on, guys, block for me. You gotta beat them at the point of attack. If he hadn't hit me, that was going to be much bigger game. Let's see if this one catches him napping. There's a couple. Ball on 24. It just might. Dixon lines up in the shotgun. To the back. Yep, big game. There we go. And they get a nice gain on third down. Remember when we talked to the coach? He mentioned that he wanted to run the ball against this defense. And he felt that he may have some success. Well, they had some success on that play. Have a look at our old spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters most. Man. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. They really don't want me running that play. Cat 82. He's there we go. The 11 yard line. Stewart gets about four yards on the play. Second down and six. All on the 11-yard line. All right. Going with the shotgun here. All right, we're going to do this. Dixon drops back to pass. Oh, yeah. First down. There we go. They'll get the first down on that eight-yard completion. And that was a pretty good-looking throw, Brad. Stewart hurt? Or is he just tired? Ah, oh, he's just tired. First, first down and goal to go. The threatening inside the 20. Oregon goes with the ace set here. Dixon hands it off. Oh, yeah. JJ gets in the end zone. Touchdown run. Boy, I really like the way the line made room for this guy to run through. And I like the way he used his vision there to run through the hole. This offense is really clicking right now. Boom. They'll line up for the extra point. Boom. And he hits the PAT. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Oregon to kick this one off. Boom. He sends this one deep. Marquis fields it in the end zone. You know who's trembling right now? Well, it's not the defense. They played well all Come game. on, guys. Here are the offensive production staff. Brought to you today by Coca-Cola. Marquis is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Tailback tries to do, uh, and they make the stop at the 24. What do you think of this guy, Lee? Brad, this kid could play on my on team any day, and I'll tell you why. He's almost guaranteed 100 yards rushing every time out. Marquis lines up as a single back. Marquis gets it on the inside, Jeez. and he's taken down. At the oh field. yeah! Recovered by the defense. And it looks like the safety got on that one. The offense has to hang on to that ball better. I agree, but you have to give some credit here to the safety. He made a nice play falling on the fumble. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. 
They'll work from the shotgun. Dixon back to throw. He's looking. Dixon guns it. His receiver. There we go. Holden runs out at the 12. Coach, what do you got for it? I just can't get over the play of this quarterback. Get this stat, fellas. He's now over 400 ah, yards. Ah, And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance Oh, Stewart might have a touchdown here. Oregon we'll see. Comes out in the shotgun. Maybe. We'll see. Dixon running the option. Pitches back. First down. At the two-yard line. Kirk, my friend, this is exactly what you want out of your back late in the game. The ability to keep the clock moving and continue to pick up the first down. Yeah, I mean, no question. This is the time when you let him carry the team to the finish. All right, Stuart, let's get in the end zone for the third time today. It's first, first and goal. goal. They're in the red zone. Really? Play stands, buddy. First Here they go, only two yards from Pater. Weird time to challenge something. The come out of the ace formation. Stewart takes the handoff. Oh and boy. Make the stop at the one. And he gets a yard on the run. Second We've goal. got second and goal. Ball on the one. The Ducks line up with a single set back to you. Wabooski, Wabooski, Wabooski. Burning clock. Please block. Touchdown. There we go. That was a fine run to get in the end zone, guys. Hey, that's his 10th of the season, Kirk. Uh, this guy's been solid all year long. This will be the last time we'll see him in the end zone. They line up for the point after. Boom. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So with just over two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, our score, Oregon, 59. UCLA, 21. Oregon, ready to kick it away. Boom. He kicks off. Bell from his own end zone. Guys, what do you think about this situation? Hopefully we'll see the offense move this ball up the field a little bit. Yeah, Coach, they really haven't had too much success today. But this is an opportunity for them to get their team back on track and build some confidence going into the next game. Throwing left. Ah, oh, we got lucky there. Oh, sure. yeah, that one, guys. Well, that's a lack of concentration, don't you think, Coach? Oh, you bet it is, and he'll be reminded of that on the sideline. Sure. Oh, do -do 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 -do. Bell lines up in the deep back, eye formation. Cowan drops back. He passes it, catches it. Boom, there we go. Push him out at the 20-yard line. Couldn't get anything out of that. Third, Third down, 10, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. The Bruins are lining up with three receivers. Cowan set to go to the air. He looks. Oh, fourth down. Great concentration and a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, and this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. UCLA lining up the punt. All right. 41 is back awaiting the punt. He gets it away. Number 41. Signals there we go. Hit. Not a lot of trouble scoring the last time they had the ball. Let's see if that passing game does the trick again. First down. They'll work from the shotgun. Dixon on the option. And it's caught. And he's there we go. At the 32. A pickup of about three. 
better than a turnover. A second down and seven to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Well, Dixon had a magical game throwing the ball. Stewart alone in the backfield. Please block for me, guys. Ah, dang it. 34 yard line. That run put him over 200 yards rushing on the day. Maybe one step closer to winning that Heisman Trophy, coach. Strike the post. This quarterback has really shown us that he can do it all. And there hasn't been a defense in the country that slowed this kid down. The fine folks from EA Sports would like to tip their hats to these kids on being named folk players of the game. Surveys the field. He's looking for his man. Got there we go. Center. Talk about a throw. Does this kid have an arm or what? I'm telling you, this thing is like a laser beam coming out of his hand. Boy, you're right. What a cannon this young man's got. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 49. Ace backfield. Dixon hands it off. There we go. At the 37. Time and time again, you see the team that's winning is usually the team that's able to control the line of scrimmage. Here, they again get a nice push, and the result was a solid run. Here's the offensive production statistics, sponsored by Coca-Cola. Single set back to you. Inside give. Tackle made at the 34. Oregon just took their first time out. Second down. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Drop back to pass. And they try to set up a screen. Brought down at the 27. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond of down the field. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Oregon lines up for the shotgun set. They'll try to get the first through the air. Looks. He unloads it. Thank you. He's all the way home. Touchdown. School ba -ba. has just been rewritten. A lot of excellent receivers have come through this school, but none have ever gained this much yardage in one game. A heck of a day for this young man. You know, records are made to be broken, but when this kid gets through, I don't know if anybody will ever reach his mark. Boom. And he converts the extra point. 66 21. The drive summary. Oregon is lining up to kick this one off. Bell and number 18 set to return. Boom. He sends it downfield. Bell fields it in the end zone. Tries to shoot. Boom. Yo, the defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. And the offense wasn't clicking on their last position. All right, guys. They have things figured out on this next drive. UCLA sets up in the eye. Cowan with the give. Boom, there you go. He's tackled. Game over. One yard line. And this ball game's over. Kirk, any final thoughts here? We got exactly what we expected to get from this one. UCLA came out of the severe underdogs, and they were absolutely demolished by a much stronger, faster, and experienced. Had a good team. finish to well, the folks, game. That makes me feel better. In this production of NCAA Football 2007, our final score in this one: Oregon 66, UCLA 21. This is Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit saying thanks and so long. Yep, all that campus challenge stuff I got done. Give me all those points. All right, what did we do? So we won 66-21. I outgained them 265 to or 765 to 291 in total offense. 
Outran them 310 to 109, out threw them 455 to 182. I did uh, 7 of 12 on third down, so they're 5 of 14. I had one turnover. They had the two lost fumbles in the second half. Dixon went 21 of 27, 455, five scores and no picks, and had 10 carries for 87 yards. Jonathan Stewart had 37 carries, 217 yards, and three touchdowns. A total workman's performance. Uh, JJ had two carries for six yards and a touchdown rushing, and he had five catches, 267, and three scores receiving. Colvin had 13 for 156 in a score, and Finley had two for 29 in a score. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Totally dominant day at the end, but... It was only 45-21 early in the fourth, and I was having issues with them as far as ball security and getting stops when I wanted to, but hey, 66-21 win, I'll take that. I think anyone will take that. <laughs> that puts me at 6-0 and on the season. Boy, what a special day. I can't wait to see if I move up in the polls or not. Go ahead and save my game now, but if you've made it this far into the video, you enjoyed watching me lay the smackdown on UCLA with my usual passing air raid and the brutal running of Jonathan Stewart. Well, hopefully you'll subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos. And if you want to check me out on Joshu TV and Quarter, where I live stream exclusively, and where you'll find content you won't see on YouTube, be sure to check me out on those sites and subscribe to me there. See you in the next one, guys.